what are they going to investigate? Of course, we know there's a connection. Of course, connections pay off in infrastructure. But here's the reason I think you can't get very far. Nobody wants to be in the infrastructure business. I mean, I mean, I come to India only once every six months or once every year. And we all know that India's biggest, weakest link is its infrastructure. I flew into Chennai airport that stayed under construction for a decade. And even after it was constructed, you had no idea what the construction was leading to or where it was going. The Adanis have entered a business where nobody wants to be. So if you tell me there are 15 people bidding for these airports and somehow, you know, the the this was a bad bid and was picked, I'd like to see the evidence. I don't think it's likely. This is a business where there are very few competent players in India. And one of the tragedies that I see coming out of this is you might take a player who's been, who I mean, I think there's a pathway. I don't even know why the Adanis went public, to be quite honest. I think they could have stayed private. They have... Clearly, they do something right in the infrastructure business. But I think this is what happens. And ambition and control kind of come together and you tend to overreach. So you can have all the... I, I am not a great believer that parliamentary investigations lead anywhere because politics means you dig in your heels. You basically, your side is right, the other side is wrong. They cast more noise than light on the process. So I'm sure there will be an investigation. It's not in your control or my control. There'll be a group of people. They, you know, these will be you know, congressmen who have no idea what questions they're asking about infrastructure. And they will be given answers that they don't quite understand. And each of them will get up and make a speech on their own based on their side of the zip. But I think that you really don't need an investigation. Of course, they had political connections. Did it play a role in how quickly they grow? Absolutely. We all know it. We knew it before the Hindenburg report came out. Mm -hmm. So this has never been a secret. So what's the investigation going to prove? Unless there's something that was underhanded that happened, and I think that's worth exploring, it is what it is. It's a very unhealthy argument, right? Because it basically says you can't bring up... I mean, in the India, I believe the India story, but it has seams and weak links. You know what the Adani group does? It, it it shines light on those weakest links. In fact, the way I describe the Adani Group is not a con, but it's a company that essentially has taken advantage of the weakest links in the Indian story and run with it. I think this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to say, look, this is a company. It's clearly you know, kind of pushed the limits of these weaknesses. And we want the India story to be a story that plays out over the next decade, we need to start working on fixing these weaknesses. Like what? I think family group companies are too, there's some, not all of them. Some of them are run by you know, very professionally. They run as if, you know, and there's some good things that come with family group companies, but uh, there are family group companies in India that are obsessed with control. Everything the company does is about control, more control, and I think that's going to slow India down. You cannot have that be the driver of the economy. On um, markets, I mean, I, one thing that's always troubled me about the Sensex and the kind of psychology around Indian stock markets is if you're a bull, you can make up stuff and everybody goes along. You're a hero. I mean, look at how many Indian bulls we've celebrated through the ages, right? You know, from Rakesh Junjunwala to a, a, anybody who talks markets up, even if there's absolutely no fundamental behind it, we celebrate. If anybody brings up anything bearish about stocks, I mean, that's almost considered to be, you can't do that. I think we need to allow people to be open about companies that need to be questioned. We need to have markets where we don't treat people who are bearish as somehow bad people who need to be pushed out of the game, they have a role to play as well. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.